you are watching loud silence and i'm standing at oglogo the old dump site in accra what i'm about to show you is really going to shock you madam ibona mankwa a mother of four has been living with it for a year and a half now Ghana is faced with uh, serious uh, energy uh, challenges. Uh, the uh, low shedding of electricity we have been going through demonstrate the enormity of our energy challenges. Any material that has the potential of being transformed into energy, you know, has economic use, it has economic value. Dacunamis, <laughs> and <laughs> I'm me you and if you say, I'm no maybe some say, no be doom, no no so move pia gravels a goom. Tom the gravels goom a bedroom. Now, so say gravels no goom, no doom cry, no, a heat, a war form. To me, to me, say, bet me so, an auntie, and I say, bet me as a aim. To me, Trump, say me you so, only I ask on bedroom, and I'm a moment, say me you so. Sanity, The people here may see the fire as the least of their worries because it provides free gas. But such natural gas formed from garbage can be extremely dangerous. It may not be healthy to cook with, and with the smallest disturbance, it could even explode at any time. Since the landfill produces so much heat, could there be a way to capture this as usable energy? Ghana is currently focused on gaining energy from the West African natural gas pipeline. But could energy production from waste provide a simpler way to get this gas directly from the trash we produce at home every day? Uh, what is happening in this community at the, at the landfill uh, attests to the fact that you can generate gas from waste uh, uh, substances, you know, through uh, the burning of uh, biodegradable materials. If there is a way to trap the escaping gas, that would be welcome, but it's very difficult you, unless you have an engineered process. But un until you are able to get this engineered uh, system, you will not be able to tap. I mean, but it's very dangerous because these gaseous substances are also affecting the environment. It's affecting the health of the people. The technology of converting waste to energy is feasible in Ghana. But the question is, would it be economical to do it? And that has been the main challenge. Waste generation in Accra is estimated around 2,000 tons a day. So if you have a place where you can really operate effectively for between 15 to, to 50 years, it gives the, 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 the real impact that you want in terms of gas recovery, in terms of uh, creating uh, that sustainability, not moving from one point to the other. Funding for new innovative projects is consistently an issue in Ghana. 
However, something must be done to fix our energy crisis and the disgraceful state of cleanliness and waste management in our cities. We need a consistent renewable source for our growing energy needs and also a sustainable solution for waste dumping so that we do not continue to endanger citizens with dump sites that are more often located close to homes. The key to producing energy from waste is building an engineered landfill site before dumping begins. This involves an underground landfill lining and pipelines for gas recovery. Currently, such plants exist around the world in China, Japan, Europe and America. There is a landfill in Greece that produces 25 kilowatts of electricity annually. Any addition to power supply would greatly help Ghana's current situation. It's relevant for the country now than ever. You know, Ghana is faced with uh, serious uh, energy uh, challenges. Uh, the uh, low shedding of electricity we have been going through is affecting industries, is affecting residential and commercial uses, uh, demonstrate the enormity of our energy challenges. What we do at the moment is waste collection. We collect the waste and go and dump the waste, you know, but we could have transformed this waste into uh, much needed power. What we need to do is to expand renewable energy because you do not have the problem of fuel shortage. You do not have the problem of rainfall volatility. You know, once you are able to gather this waste and waste is generated every day, every hour, you will have a reliable source. In a place where waste management and energy reliability are huge issues, why can't we solve both problems at once? Such innovation would need great support from private businesses and governments alike. But if funding is actually spent in the right places, could domestically produce renewable energy be the solution to Ghana's current energy crisis?